Kyle, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. Now this will be for the 18th to the 24th of April 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget though it's a general reading. It isn't going to suit everyone out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Okay. You have surrender in reverse. Surrender in reverse, I mean, this is something you don't want to release. You know, you don't want to make a change. You don't want to end the era, turn things around. You know, like it's, yeah, you don't want to kind of give it up as such but there needs to be this equal balance there needs to be an equal give and take there needs to be um you're in it together like teamwork you know um you've got to work as a team like you know otherwise it's not going to work You've also got spring, so whether there's some sort of new birth, vitality, fresh start as of spring. We're in autumn in Australia, but elsewhere you, um, you know, maybe different, but we're in spring, sort of towards the end of the year here. I'm finding, I'm, I'm feeling like you may have had some obstacles because you've got, um, or not obstacles, like definitely action needed to have happen because you've got 35 in the corner on spring, three and five is eight. So eight is all about taking action and getting justice. situation doesn't make you feel good let me be real like you don't there's no optimism there's no no happiness i don't even, i feel like you're just going day by day you're not even glad to be there you're not feeling you know optimistic and happy you've also got to expect good luck it's all about good fortune so whether you're going to get some sort of money or whether it just means you know expect good luck because you are going to have a new beginning so whether you choose to want to release this whatever this is you know maybe you just need to like whatever you went through doesn't make you feel good the lack that you the fact that you don't want to surrender i feel like it's not going to bring you happiness what i'm feeling is you need to release this you need to make a change you need to let something go uh, it could mean a person or it could mean a thought pattern or a, you, you know, whatever this is, right? You, there's something you need to release. And I feel like because it doesn't make you feel good. But if you release it and you find balance and you both work together as a team and you come together, you know, I guess as a, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? just say team for now but you come together as a team and you both put in you know the same amount of energy you both you don't know, just take 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 you give and take and you know everyone's in it because they want to be you can have new birth a new beginning so it's either with this person or it could just mean a whole new fresh start elsewhere maybe you can't the other thing i'm hearing maybe you can't get rid of so say this person did something to hurt you and you were like i can't i can't let it go i can't move on i can't release those thoughts i see you know this every time i close my eyes or whatever right you can't move past it because it doesn't make you feel good it's like you've either got to move on complete to a complete different person 
you know, um, or you need to release something to have a new beginning to get happy. I feel like whatever this is, it, it's just not, it's not making you feel good. Now, self-employment. I don't know if you've been thinking about maybe starting some sort of small business or something like that, but it's like you haven't done anything about it yet. Um, you don't trust your intuition or any guidance. You're not like... Like if I turned a blind eye, I won't see something. Okay, I'm gonna have one more card actually. Yeah, and it says, make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. There's something that maybe you're not working, and that's part of the issue or there's something to do with money something like that uh yeah lack of maybe lack of money um but i'm feeling like you don't know what to do and that's why you can't make a decision that's why possibly you are still not wanting to release something because you don't know what you want to do or you can't Maybe you're not making enough money to kind of, you know what I mean, like leave or something. There's something there, but it's good fortune. You've got to expect good fortune or good luck. So maybe good luck is going to help, you know, once you make a decision, maybe they, the universe of God will help with that. Maybe you've got to manifest that. But either way, there's a new beginning in whatever way that means for you. You've got Jade, which is all about wellness, and it's in reverse. Your health, like, your health will suffer. This is, you know, any kind of stress or... Uh, negative thinking or you know any of that any of that stuff can really affect your health um i don't feel like you're really that healthy you could suffer depression or just something else as well maybe it's got to do with um something to you need to some of you need to detox from something um so it could be a bit more serious about maybe you've got an addiction um but yeah you really it could just for a lot of you mean that you need to just watch your stress levels and and maybe take some time to kind of just you know look after yourself you can only make progress you can't you're not going to be perfect you know what i mean like whatever's going on all you can do is make progress towards whatever it is you want um but you've also got easy does it in reverse Like your health, happiness and abundance, like it's not, they don't require a general approach to life and work. You need to make something happen. I feel like this is about action. This is about um, now is maybe, now is maybe the time to kind of take some action and, and um, make a decision. You know, what is it you want? Um you can't sit on your couch and hope that you're going to strike it rich because the majority, you know, but I guess the uh, likelihood of winning the lottery is pretty low, but doesn't mean it won't happen. But yeah, I just feel like you need a kind of backup plan in case that doesn't actually happen. Okay, signals and strength fell out. Signals. It's all about messages, signals, signs. 
Even a timely warning may be received as a gift. A new life may be unfolding for new lives begin with new connections, surprising link linkages that direct you on new pathways. Take care now to be especially aware during meetings, visits, chance encounters, particularly with persons wiser than yourself. Um, this is uh, the card that is associated with Loki, the ancient trickster from the pantheon of the Norse gods. He's, oh, he's also the bringer of benefits to humankind. He's a reminder that even scoundrels and arch, arch thieves, I don't know what that word is, can be the bearers of wisdom. When you draw this, expect the unexpected. The message is always a call, a call to a new life. Signals is the first of the 13 runes that make up the cycle of initiation. The runes that focus directly upon the mechanism of self-change and as such addresses your need to integrate unconscious motive with conscious intent. It tells you that connection with the divine is at hand. It invites you to explore the depths and the foundation of life and to experience the inexhaustible wellness a wellspring of the divine in your nature at the same time you're reminded you must first draw from the world to nourish and give to yourself there then will there be more than enough to nourish others like and it's all about family solidarity it's funny right this i mean it talks about nourishing yourself and we just spoke about health and wellness and whatever it's like it's telling you to pay attention to signals Pay attention to whatever signs and whatever messages you get. Um, yeah. There may be an opportunity missed or the weakening of your position, a feeling your own strength is being used against you. Some will experience strength reversed in the form of minor failures and disappointments. For those more deeply unaware, it may provide a hard jolt. Reversed, it calls for serious thought about the quality of your relationship to yourself. Take heart. Consider the constant cycling of death and rebirth, the endless going and return. Honour your passage into darkness and remember when in deep water become a diver. It's like don't give up. Don't give up with all this, these hardships or whatever you know you're going through. Um, you do have inner strength and you may not feel like, you know, you're being guided or looked after or protected, but you are. Now, let's get some tarot. Find out some more information. Nine cards, please, for Aquarius. Nine cards. One, two, three. Okay, six more, please. You got a lot of cuts going on. One more, please. Okay, on the bottom you have peace, which is the same as the death card. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is about endings, big changes, transformation, uh, transitioning, time to move on, rebirth, death, severing ties, you know, anything that causes a death to a situation. Um, because I feel like you're, you are future planning. You're like looking at your life. You're making some decisions based on what it is you want. And I feel, about, I feel like there will be a death to, to a situation. Now, the card you've got in the middle is the Emperor in reverse. 
could be an Aries. This person could be controlling or it could be you're trying to control a person or trying to control a relationship or trying you're trying to control something and I just feel like there's a lack of stability I feel like you know like you know you shouldn't have to uh, control another person like you should be able to trust another person and not worry be be concerned um, can you tell me more about the Emperor in reverse please Aquarius Ten of Swords in reverse. You're definitely trying to resist this inevitable end. One more card, please. It's going to take strength. It is going to take strength. You're not... You want your wishes fulfilled. You thought this person was your two of cups, uh, your kindred spirit. And, yeah, I feel like that maybe things just didn't turn out how you'd hoped. Now, you could be trying to resist this inevitable end, like I said, but it's going to take strength for you to move, move on from where you're at. Um, I don't know if you, I feel like you're codependent. You're either you or your person, you're codependent because um, you've got the Empress in reverse. So um, I feel like you stay there because you are codependent. As I said, maybe you don't have a, uh, maybe you have a lack of money or there's some sort of, you can't afford to move out. Um Yeah, there's something there's something that's keeping you keeping you there is what I'm what I'm getting. Um, maybe it's the fact you've got kids or lack of money. You've got the nine of wands. Like you are resilient. You are a strong person. You can do this. You know, you are resilient, you know, you're you're strong. You know, like you can, you can do this. Okay, let's move on. So then, I then you have the four of. Oh yeah, it definitely comes back to the lack of money. Also a lack of confidence, uh, you know, yeah, I just feel like it's definitely got to do with money, but maybe you need to go and do some training or do something to make some money yourself. I feel like this is similar to Libra's reading, actually, um, because I feel like Yeah, I just feel like it's definitely about money. But maybe you need to go and make your own money is what I'm hearing. Maybe you need to just, you know, kind of look after yourself. And, I mean, Libras was all about being self-sufficient and um, making the money yourself, you know, so you don't have to make it just about why you can't be with someone. Then, so, as I said, anyway, let's move on. So then you've got the Four of Michael, which is the same as the Four of Swords. Um, that talks about, you know, needing to rest, needing to do some meditation, do some recovery, relaxation, contemplation, recuperation, whatever this is. I feel like you just really need to kind of spend some time away from stress and time that you can just kind of, you know, think about what it is you want. Like take that time to kind of get some clarity on, on what it is you want. Do you want an ending? Do you not? Do you see this person in your life? You know, do you not? Do you trust this person? Do you not? You know, whatever this is, it's like there needs to be some time out to kind of figure out what it is that you want. Um, 
Follow your heart, though. You've got the Queen of Cups as well. And maybe that's you. Maybe you're a very nurturing monk person. You're kind, compassionate, gentle, empathetic. You know, Queen of Cups is also, it could be a Cancer, but um, I just feel like for, for this read, it's more you. Um, doesn't have to be a female. could just mean the energy of someone like that. Someone that's very kind and understanding and giving. Could even be psychic. Um... But I feel like, yeah, you're going to get some insights and I feel like you then need to follow follow your heart. Um, as I said, I feel like you could have, you know, home and family with this person. But you know what to do. I feel like at the same time, I mean, there could be multiple people, first of all, involved. There could be a third party. Um, so it could mean... Maybe you're, or it could, I mean, it could mean two people, but it could also just mean that you need some insights because you're currently this person who's this, you know, queen of cups. You're this mother, this, or whatever, you know, very kind and gentle and empathetic and all those things, but you really need to be self-reliant. You know, it's like, you know what you need to do. And the Queen of Swords talks about being self-sufficient, independent, having clear boundaries, you know, independent. And I just feel like you're going to look after yourself. If you looked after yourself, like, you don't need this other person. And is that the only reason you're staying there? Yeah, look, eight came out again. And the five of swords, like, this is a toxic situation. They may want to reconcile or you may want to reconcile. But yeah, maybe you look into getting your own money, like I said, and walking away. Um, like I don't even feel like with the four of cups that this really makes you happy anyway I feel like you're in uh, a place where you feel depressed dissatisfied discontent stuck bored like, I know how I'm feeling, and I just got over this feeling with one of the other reads, and then I feel good again, and then now I'm back feeling exhausted and, like, I want to go sleep. Sometimes it's hard being an empath, let me tell you. But, yeah, I just feel like you've got the lovers in reverse. So this could be a Gemini, but this is more about loving you and realizing that you, there's imbalance or there's disharmony or you don't have the same values or they don't have the same values as you. Look after you now. As I said, you want to be happy. You want, you know, and I feel like you could even have kids with this person, like I said, but you're disappointed. And I feel like you tried to forgive this person, but you just, I feel like, I don't know, you can't. Um, it's funny, I just have the Six of Cups and I put it back and started shuffling and there's the Six of Cups right there. Happy memories. talks about also unconditional love and possibly you know rose colored glasses it's like take off those rose colored glasses tell me why the six is here you've actually got this oh my god you've actually got the seven as well um somebody's yeah king of swords this is about someone being manipulating controlling cruel um ace of wands two of cups ace of cups so 
So you could have been in a situation where somebody was that way, somebody was controlling and, and cruel and, you know, um, manipulating. And I feel like then you get the Ace of Wands, which is all about, you know, some sort of new career. So maybe you go and get a job. Um, maybe then you run into somebody or I just feel like you never know. But it talks about passion and desire and new opportunities and turning your ideas into reality. And then because you, you've got the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, new love, kindred spirit, you know, like I feel like someone's going to come in and be, it'd be your person. And then you've got choices, which you don't really want to make a decision with the seven. But at the same time, I feel like you're also not wanting to break a cycle. You're not wanting to kind of, you're resisting the change. And because the, the wheel I saw on before. It's like tossing up. You don't know what you want to do. But then you've got the wheel up here. So something is going to change. New beginnings, uh, change in the direction that will offer more happiness. So you are going to move to something new. I feel like it's this is the same sort of message as like we've had in the past, ending through new beginnings. That's pretty much what this is. Um, five of Pentacles in reverse. Here you're recovering. You're focusing on your employment. It's going to take courage, but... You know, I feel like you are recovering. And it doesn't even have to be from a financial loss. It could just mean from a any kind of any kind of loss. You got the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this person, you know, could have come in like Prince Charming, but they weren't. They were a fraud. They had a short attention span. They they probably wanted to have their cake and eat it too. So yeah, you're moving on, you're leaving the past behind, which is, you know, great. Um, yeah, and I feel like, you know, you're going to end up with somebody who, or actually, I feel like they're going to be, you know, a, a leader. They may even have their own business. They're confident. They're charming, decisive, you know, I feel like they have experiences. Um, and I feel like you're moving on from somebody like the Knight of, Pent Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You know, and you're getting out of that place of being stuck. You know, or at a standstill or bored. I just feel like you, you're getting out of that cycle, which is good. Anyway, that's what I have um, for you, Aquarius. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And um, I will catch you with the next three. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.